Hey everyone, Car with Looter at Ladder, bringing back Lunala for another round. Uh, didn't do too hot in the last episode. Uh, had a lot of close calls, a lot of weird, just speed tiers that I wasn't quite unsure of. And uh, we're gonna go give it another try here and try to do better than we did last time. Uh, the idea here is using Sunroom with Lunala as our Trick Room Setter because it has Wide Guard to deal with Kyogre and Ground and fun stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of spread moves right now in the format as well, so Wide Guard is actually really good to have. Um, so we have the obvious Torkoal and Venusaur combo. Uh, we have that paired with Ndidi so we can get our Trick Rooms off safely. Um, alongside those four, we have a Defiant Assault Vest Thunderous. Uh, having foul play on Thunders is actually going to probably be kind of clutch just because we have a problem like we can hit other ghost types, we can hit dark, uh, psychic types and things like that. Um, having like I think uh, your spec probably to survive uh, Calyrex Shadows, Max Phantasm and then just Elko back with uh, Max Darkness, which is cool. Um, and then Celestelia here, Air Slash, Flash Cannon, Giga Drain Protect. This is probably the weakest spot on the team in my opinion. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot. At least, like, it didn't in the game I was watching. Like, I played with it, but it's probably just a Dynamax target, so we'll have to see how it fares uh, later on. But it's just, like, there's a lot of redundant coverage on on the Celesteela outside of Flash Cannon. And it's not all... I don't think it's all necessary. But uh, anyway, let's get into some battles here and see how we do here with uh, Lunala. See if we can get some wins this time. Um... Yeah, last time we had some issues with like speed tiers and things like that. So definitely uh, hoping for a better time here. Um, we could be playing slow thunders just to take advantage of trick room, I guess. But I'm just like unsure on why we'd be so slow. Uh, like we got outsped by a no investment Dialga. <laughs> so that tells me that we're likely just max HP, max attack for this thunderous. Okay, Calyrex, Ice, and Glastrier, and Sunroom, and Mimikyu, and Sable. Okay. Um, huh. Hmm. How do I beat Glastrier without, like, getting big th Torkoal over here? Like, this is probably it. Like, this is a bad bring, this is a bad bring. This, 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 this are, like, all fine. Hmm. Just double clash you're just scary, man. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Leave Venusaur at home, leave Thunderous at home, maybe Dynamax, Torkoal, or Celesteela this game. Um, that's all I can think of, really. Like, if they leave Glastrier, we can Meteor Beam it? Like, Helping Hand Meteor Beam might be enough to take out this Glastrier. And, like, jokes on them, I'm looking to set up Trick Room anyway. So, yeah, we'll Helping Hand and we'll Meteor Beam into this Glastrier. And see if this is enough to pick it up. I'd be very surprised if he Dynamaxes turn one with this Glastrier. He can't safely go for a ghost type move because of Ndidi on the field, which is really good for us. That's actually this is actually a really good pairing. Just like thinking about it, is like a lot of the things that hit uh, Golden Big last year. Okay.
Um, I wonder if the opponent called my bluff to see if I took all me or not. <laughs> I would imagine they're going for Trick Room. We'll see how much this Meteor Beam does. It's not taking out this Glass Gear by any means. But it'll be a chunk. As long as we connect, it'll be a chunk. We connect. Oh. Okay, that's why. <laughs> I was just like, hold up. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Okay, you can have the trick room, that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, what the heck just happened there? Okay, last year's gone. Their Dynamax target's down. Like, I knew it was Helping Hand plus one Meteor Beam, but like, you Dynamax, you're a bulky boy to begin with. I don't think I'm taking you out. So now that we, they have Torkoal, I think what we do here is... D-Gleam. Could honestly just click Wide Guard. Just make Torkoal useless. Oh my god, we just make Torkoal useless. Torkoal's never gonna be able to click an attack. <laughs> and now that we broke the Sash on Mimikyu, we can just stall out the Trick Room. Yeah, we get to stall out Trick Room here. So here's the cool thing now. Now we just get to click Follow Me and Wide Guard forever. <laughs> Torkoal doesn't get to do anything productive. Um, all of the Phantom Forces and Ghost type attacks are going to go into Indeedee. This is this is nuts. <laughs> How many turns of Trick Room are left? Two? Two. Okay. Yeah, we just keep clicking Wide Guard and damage when they, we can. <laughs> this is hilarious, and I love it. Pokemon like Torkoal rely on the fact that they deal spread damage so well. Yeah! Yeah, get that Torkoal out of here. We're gonna get this trick room to wear out wear off here. Put some chip damage. Oh, maybe we took a ton. Um, now that we have that, I think we can click Follow Me and Max Phantasm this Calyrex. I feel safe doing this now, now that Torkoal's gone. Like, Torkoal doesn't want to switch into any of these hits. I've been clicking Wide Guard this entire game, so Glacial Lance isn't going to do any, like, isn't a safe hit. So now I feel like this is a safe time to go, oh look, I'm going to blow you up now. If I take out the Kalinarch Shadow here, and Mimikyu's the only thing left on the field that can deal with Celesteela, I mean, Torkoal is the only thing left that can deal with Celesteela, I think we're fine. That doesn't affect, and uh, so it doesn't do anything to Psychic Terrain. High Horsepower into Ndidi. He's gonna take out Ndidi, which is sad, but it, 
turn, we get to blow up this Calyrex now. Get out of here. I've KO'd two glass tiers this game. <laughs> Now Trick Room's done, Psychic Terrain's done, <laughs> and now we can send out the Celesteela to Flash Cannon into Mimikyu, and we can Rock Ball into the Torkoal. So now we're in a spot where we can do this, we go Flash Cannon, Mimikyu, Rock Ball, Torkoal. Say bye bye. We're gonna get a win here, so that's cool. Um, I think the crit on the meteor beam might have mattered. I'm I'd have to do that calc off camera probably and double check it, but it might that crit might have mattered on turn one there. Okay, you're just gonna disappear. That's fine. Like you can't win this game now. Uh, I think I want to keep Lunala alive. This is just the safe bet in case flash, in like case something happens. Like this is the safest bet. Flash Cannon takes up the Mimic and we're all done here. Sweet. Got a win there. Um, I don't think if I think if we didn't KO the Glass Tier when we did, I think the game was definitely going into my opponent's favor. Um, but picking up that KO there, even if like even with the crit, it's just sometimes that Pokemon works. You just gotta roll with it. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely got. I think we got lucky there. Um, could have definitely been an issue later on if Glastry just got to set up and do its thing and pick up KOs left and right. Probably would have had to end up Dynamaxing the uh, Torkoal. Let's keep going. Let's get another one in. <sighs> Don't know why I'm so tired. Just been yawning all day. Okay. Um, let's see here. Things we learned about that game. Um, we'll have to double check and see if that's a roll on Glastria or not. Um, see if that crit mattered or not. I'm pretty sure that crit ended up mattering. Like, we might have picked it up without it, or at least been close. But we definitely, 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 uh, got lucky there. All right, up against Aaron. Aaron has a Groudon team, so Venusaur is like an automatic include on this team no matter what. Thunderous is another good inclusion here because they have the Incineroar. Uh, Thunderous also hits a lot of their team super effectively. Torkoal's another good bring here. Torkoal is good against specifically the uh, Corviknight. Celesteela, like it resists ground, but that's about all it does. Lunala doesn't do anything. I think the lead is Indeedee Thunderous bringing Venusaur Coal in the back. Lunala doesn't like seeing Incineroar. Isn't like Trick Room, setting up Trick Room here isn't going to do enough to where like we can actually do anything. Plus, they have Preposite Precipice Blades, whereas Thunderous just gets to. Do stuff. I'm not sure. I 
think Venudon's fine. Yeah, let's just leave Venudon. A uh, Venu Venu call in our case. Um, I wonder if Venusaur is calc to KO Groudon. Hmm. It'll be very interesting to find out here. So they're looking to fake out. Um, so now that I have that up, I think getting this up now is good. And we'll just body press the Incineroar. Because they, they have to fake out into the Venusaur or they risk their Dragonfish going to sleep. Um, either that or they just sack off Dracofish and try to take out Venusaur afterwards. But uh, going big Venusaur here means we might be able to take out Dracofish here. Or they can go big Dracofish themselves. Could be big Incineroar. Nope, big Dracofish themselves. Okay. Looking to set up Geyser or Rock Ball. Put some damage on this Dracofish. That's about. That's actually good. That's more than I thought it was going to do. After they Dynamaxed it. That's definitely more than I thought it was going to do. They went for Geyser. It's going to be reduced Geyser damage. So it's not enough to take out Torkoal. The, the downside here is they've reduced their damage on both of their moves. <laughs> they got the lucky burn there. But they reduced damage on both of their moves. <laughs> Had they not Max Geysered there and just attacked me with like a Wormwind or something, they probably could have picked a Venusaur to put the Devil up there. But uh, now we get to sit here and play the uh, Protect and Swap Out Torkoal game. We get to Max Guard, and we can swap out into Nala. Lunala is like our sack outlet here. Just like, just gonna sack off the Lunala here. Makes the most sense. Yeah, Max Geyser into the into the Lunala slot. Not gonna do a ton. Even Rain Booster, that still doesn't do a lot. And then Snarl, yeah. Dracovish takes some chip. Incineroar takes some chip. Incineroar doesn't have a berry, so that means Incineroar is goggles. That means this right here. Hmm. I could ooze the Incineroar. Yeah, I think we're just going to ooze the Incineroar. And... Probably... Meteor Beam the Dracovish here? Yeah, this is fine. Take out the Incin. 
Uh, Lunala goes back to neutral. Venusaur goes to plus one. Our Meteor Beam doesn't do anything now, but we're at plus two. Uh, we're, at, we're at plus one with Lunala as well now. So if I ever wanted to swap out into Torkoal, it's like, whatever. Yeah. Dragonfish takes some more Vine Lash damage. We get to see something they have in the back here. There's Sigalith. Um, I think we can safely... Swap Lunala out into Torkoal. And just take out the Sigil up here. Sigil up is likely going for Tailwind, just to try and outspeed later on. But this is going to be a plus one uh, weather ball. So this might take out Sigil up here. Plus one weather ball. Could be fire type. Takes it out completely. That's great. Psychic fangs into Venusaur. That's fine. Uh, Lunala can come out here. They're down to the last Pokemon. Um, Dragonfish isn't a threat anymore. There's the ground off. So I'm expecting Precipice Blades and attacking the Lunala. Yep. Uh, Vine Lashing's done, unfortunately, for us. I need to take out the Dragonfish now. They accurately called the, called the target on the Drac- on the, uh... So we're gonna protect ourselves. Groudon keeps using Precipice Blades. Um, I think we go for the double up. We just attack the Dracovish again. I think we just go for the double protect here. Not gonna get it, unfortunately. We're faster than the Dracovish though, interesting. The Dracovish goes down. He hits the precipice, precipice blades. Like, you're gonna take the Torkoal out that way, that's fine. Let's see how much this does. That's a chunk. Oh! Is he locked into precipice blades? He might be locked into Precipice Blades, y'all. 
Why would he not swap? If he's locked into Precipice Blade, that means we win. Oh my goodness. Is this like Choice Band Groudon? Because that's cool. I want to see this Groudon set. If that's Choice Band Groudon, that's cool. Show me a Choice Band. Come on. Dang it. Dang it to see it. Oh well. Oh well. Uh... So far, we're making making the run back to at least break even here. Um, been going great so far. Uh, yeah, that has to have been Choice Band Groudon, which is really cool. Uh, definitely sucks for them, though, that we had we had brought Thunders in the back. Ooh, okay. Um, so... There is a fun fact here about this whole stuff. So... This is the lead for Calyrex Shadow, I'm pretty sure. We bring Lunala to deal with Glastria in the back. Um, and then I bring, I think I bring Torkoal. Because if I can get Trick Room up with Calyrex gone, I think Torkoal sweeps. Pretty sure Torkoal can sweep it up if Calyrex is if Calyrex is gone and Torkoal is by himself. Like Torkoal's the thing on the only thing on the field. I think Torkoal can deal with a lot of the threats. So there is the Regilecki and the Calyrex Shadow. I'm going to bring out the Ndidi. Yep, can't eat berries, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I know. Um... I'm expecting to get my speed lowered, but I'd like to go back to neutral speed afterwards. Never mind. My opponent's not letting me do that. My opponent quit. <laughs> well, that's not a very good time. Let's try to find another one, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I feel like the line there was either set reset our speed because the Regilecki's going to lower it, or if they don't lower it, then we get to go to plus one and we outspeed, and then we can just blow everything up. Against Pharaoh. Solgaleo. Okay. Um, so that screams set Trick Room in front of me, team. And Dynamax this Torkoal in front of it, most likely. Uh, bring Thunderous for other shenanigans. The one problem here is this uh, Spectre and this Moltres both just eat Lunala alive. So actually what we probably do is bring Thunderous, Torkoal, Venu. Uh, Thunderous can probably blow up either Spectre or, or, or uh, Moltres, depending on which one we see. Indeed, he gets to redirect hits away from us. Uh, Torkoal deals with a good chunk of the rest of the back, and Venusaur would probably be the Dynamax on this team. Like, if we could line up v uh, Venucol on the field and Max Flare into this uh, Solgaleo, I'm pretty sure we get it. Pretty sure there's a, a line there that we just blow it up. I 
They let the they let Spectrum Ultras because they saw Indeedy uh Indeedy Lunala together. Expecting Will-O-Wisp. So blow up the Spectre here. Don't let them Will-O-Wisp you. It's kind of the idea here. Like, don't let them Will-O-Wisp your, uh... Pokemon that doesn't care about the two Pokemon on the field. <laughs> That's the goal. Look at me. Called it. Every day. Called it every day. Get out of here. Yeah, you got the sash. That's fine. Yep, set up the nasty plot. We're gonna airstream the Spectrier and redirect this hit from Moltres into the Indeedy. Once we get rid of Spectrier here, yeah, they're gonna withdraw the Spectrier into what? Solgaleo, sweet. And they're gonna Dynamax the Moltres. So this guarantees that we're still faster after this. Look at me. So we airstream into the Sogaleo. That's actually decent damage. We get a speed boost. And a crit. Ooh, nice. Yep, they went for the same plan. Gonna airstream. Yep, takes out the Indeedy. That's fine. Swap into Torkoal. And we're going to Max Darkness to Solgaleo. Yeah, so is gonna protect, that's fine. Mainly after the special defense drop on the Moltres. There's a policy proc. Airstream into Torkoal takes it out 100% there. So Moltres is at plus two, Sogaleo is at plus one. No, Sogaleo is at plus two. Thunderous is at plus one, and Venusaur is essentially plus two. So 
So the question then becomes, how fast is your Moltres versus how fast is your my Venusaur? Because I'm pretty sure Thunderous at plus one is still faster than Sokoleo at plus two. We might not be anymore, though. It might be close. The real roll is... Okay, so they're just max guarded. Okay, that's fine. So Venusaur is faster than Sokoleo. Thunderous is faster than Sokoleo. And we wasted the last turn of the Dynamax. <laughs> That's what I got from all of that info. Tapu Fini sets up a Misty Terrain. Uh, it doesn't protect your Moltres. I uh, hope you know that. We just wild charge the Feeny here, sleep powder the Moltres. If he swaps Feeny out, all oh, we get safety goggles. Then why did you bring out Feeny? We're gonna get uh, air slash here on the Venusaur. Yep. We didn't know what the item was. I was figuring it was a, uh... We're gonna lose our Thunders here too, probably. Not quite. Life Orb Feeny. Okay. Well, I want to see how much this was going to do. I want to know how much this is going to do to Moltres for purposes later on. Yeah, wasn't enough. Okay, I'm glad I didn't do that then because it would have just been a waste of time there if I had Leaf Stormed the Feeny and hit the uh, Moltres with Wild Charge there. Would have been a waste of time. So, unfortunate end there, but uh, did decently well with it. Picked up two more wins there, which was two more than we had when we started. Definitely didn't expect safety goggles on the uh, Moltres there, so that's that's new. Yeah, we were set to be faster. That looks like a uh, very... That looks like the common spread for Moltres. Anywho. The team went okay. Uh, Celesteela is not right. I'm going to say this now. Celesteela is not right for this team. Like, at all. I, I, I'm sitting here looking to try to figure out what this thing lines up against. And it lines up against almost nothing. Like, you get to beat up Kyogre. But you already have Venusaur. You have Torkoal to counteract the rain. You have Thunderous that beats it up too, so what? that doesn't do it. It's not good for anything. Uh, you get to beat up Fairy types, but you have Venusaur with Sludge Bomb. Not many Fairy types running around to begin with, like outside of like Tapu Fini, but you just beat up with Venusaur and Thunderous. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just not sure what this Celesteel is doing on this team. Uh, it just doesn't do anything. I would probably play something else in this slot. It just doesn't feel very powerful. Um, the rest of the core, it works together okay. Uh, Lunala is definitely hard to bring when there's faster psychic ghost types than you, like Dragapult, like Calyrex Shadow. Um, there's uh, also the issue of Yavaltal, Incineroar. Um, I can keep naming dark type attacks. Thunderous is a problem because now it has foul play and foul play blows you up because it gets to go max darkness and just goes boom. Um, yeah, this is, Lunala is not that great. Uh, I much prefer Sogaleo and Dusk Maiden and Cosmo, which you'll see tomorrow from Carter. Um, that's about all I got to say on it really. Um, if you liked what you see, Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications for when new videos go live. Thanks again to Evan for building this team for us. Rental codes on your screen right now. Make sure you 
at least try this team out and tell me how wrong I am about Celesteela down in the comments down below. Um, what else is there? Uh, make sure you come and hang out with us on Twitter at LL Lessons for podcast information, video updates, things like that. My personal Twitter at musical underscore 33 and my co-host's personal Twitter at Mr. Missouri 25. Uh, you can also find us on Twitch. Uh, we're starting to stream a little bit more often now. Um, did a survey about about a week ago now, pretty close to it. And it turns out that people wanted to see us stream more. So we're going to start streaming more, probably cut back on YouTube some, maybe even stream on YouTube. We'll find out how that goes. Um, you can find our Twitches. Uh, my personal one is twitch.tv forward slash musical. And my co-host Carter's is twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Missouri 25. Uh, and make sure you come join the Discord. The Discord's where we get all of our sweet teams every week. Um, like this one from Arad Evan. Um, I know we've played another one. The one yesterday, or well, last ep last team was from Atomic Penguin, who was also in the Discord. So yeah, make sure you come and hang out, get your teams played. Uh, we talk about everything ranging from Pokemon to food to animals, and it's great. It's a great place to hang out. Um, that being said, uh, make sure you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're out in the world, and we will see you all next week. Bye, guys.